फ्रेंड्स यू नो दट एट शरद चंद्र आई एस अकेडमी वी हैव शरद चंद्र जूनियर कॉलेज वेर इन वी ट्रेन स्टूडेंट्स फॉर डिफरेंट कॉमेट एग्जामिनेशन अलॉन्ग द इंटरमीडिएट वी कॉल दिस कोर्स एज इंटरमीडिएट विथ आई एस फाउंडेशन वेर इन वी ट्रेन स्टूडेंट्स इन द बेसिक ह्यूमैनिटीज हिस्ट्री जोग्रफी इकोनॉमी पॉलिटी एनवायरमेंट अलॉन्ग विथ करंट अफेयर्स विथ विच दे विल बी एबल टू राइट डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेट एग्जामिनेशन एज वी ट्रेन दम इन अर्थमेटिक रीजनिंग इंग्लिश ऑल्सो सो दे विल बी एबल टू राइट एग्जाम्स लाइक सी एल ए टी क्लैट एग्जाम टू गो इन टू नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड आई पी मैट एग्जाम टू गो इन टू आई आई एम्स एंड सी यू टी एग्जाम टू गो इन टू डेली यूनिवर्सिटी एंड अदर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड ऑल्सो आई आई टी एच एस सी एग्जाम एंड रिसेंटली वी हैव टॉप टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु क्लियर आई आई टी एच एस सी एग्जाम एंड सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सरच चंद्र जूनियर कॉलेज ए पार्ट ऑफ सरच चंद्र आई एस अकेडमी हु क्लियर क्लैट एग्जाम आई पी मैट एग्जाम एच एस सी एग्जाम वी हैव इंटरव्यूड दम सो टूडे आई हैव विथ मी भावना एंड वेद वशिता हु स्टडीड इंटरमीडिएट विथ आई एस फाउंडेशन एंड पास आउट दिस इयर इन ट्वेंटी टू बोथ ऑफ दम हैव क्लियर क्लैट एग्जाम सी एल ए टी क्लैट एग्जाम भावना गॉड सीट इन एन एल यू नागपुर एंड वेद वर्षिता गॉड सीट इन एन एल यू वाइजैक एंड वेदा इज ऑन्स अगेन राइटिंग आई मीन शी इज राइटिंग सी यू टी एग्जाम Central University's Common Entrance Examination because she is aiming to go into Delhi University. So today in this discussion, we will try to find out the strategy followed by Bhavana and Veda during their course of two years of intermediate that made them crack CLAT examination. Congrats once again, Bhavana and Veda. Thank you. So tell me, Bhavana, if I have to ask you, what is the single most important thing that helped you? crack the clat exam and get a seat in nlu nagpur uh, yeah sir uh, clat uh, which is common law admission test uh, uh, is mainly based on uh, reading passages uh, we have a, uh, five questions for every passage uh, based on which uh, we have to answer the questions so i would say that uh, reading different kinds of content is the most important thing we have to practice uh, uh, to crack this exam uh, for this i would recommend newspapers because uh, this is where newspapers uh, help both in current affairs section of clat and uh, both in reading content and i would like to say i i would thank academy for helping me to read newspaper because newspaper can be read in different kinds uh, but clat demands a different perspective for uh, reading the newspaper so this is where academy helped in what way uh, to read the newspaper and what way uh, has uh, should uh, helps us to crack uh, crack the clat exam and uh, apart from newspaper i would like to, i would like to suggest that people should start those who are interested in taking this clat exam uh, should start reading from uh, day 1 Uh, if you have a reading habit you will definitely have a head an edge over other fellow aspirants so i would like to thank my parents because they have cultivated a, a habit of reading different kinds of uh, books uh, apart from my academics uh, i have read books like uh, kill to kill a mockingbird uh, atomic habits uh, 1984 uh and many more uh, it's it's not that you have to read only one type of books or don't uh, come don't bind yourself to one type of genre or uh, you have to read different kinds of contents uh, this is where newspaper editorials help you a lot because editorials focus on different kinds of issues which happen in current which happened in uh, which happened in the present day so your uh, gk is getting improved as well as your reading so uh, please uh, do read a lot okay so as bauna so you are telling that reading habit really helped you crack the clat examination friends clat examination pattern has changed in the last two years every question almost every question comes from passage so you have to read a lot of passages in the limited time so reading skill is very important coming to veda so veda tell me if i had ask you what is the single most important thing in your, in your preparation that helped you crack this examination clat exam sir uh, first of all i would like to express my gratitude to the institute uh, for uh, developing uh, an uh, interest in uh, all the subjects uh, the institute has uh, taught me many things like it uh, did not restrict me to one subject i learned many things uh, after i came here and uh, as soon as i started my intermediate uh, the pandemic hit so uh then even then uh, the institute did not uh, stop teaching uh, through online classes uh, we learned a lot and uh, uh 
all the six months or one year or one and a half year, uh, different subjects like economy, polity, history, culture, and science and technology, current affairs. Even in the pandemic, my parents encouraged me not to stop learning, and uh, the academy also uh, encouraged us by uh, online classes and. Uh, CLAT exam, what it demands is uh, knowing of different uh, subjects. The uh, passages are not restricted to only one subject, but uh, we cannot expect uh, that uh, the content in the passages comes from only one subject. It is very diverse. So it is very important that uh, we do not restrict ourselves to just one thing. We need to uh, uh, read the, like different kinds uh, of uh, content, books, novels, whatever we are interested in. But basically, uh, the thing is, uh, reading is very important. And also, my parents encouraged me a lot to uh, read books from a very young age. So I think uh, that also has helped me a lot uh, to clear this CLAT examination. Good, Veda. So both of you, one common quality in you is that you already have got a good reading habit. And uh, see, most of the students from Andhra and Telangana go for engineering or medicine, MPs, BPC. Most of them do not know the opportunities present in the exams like CLAT, IPMAT, HSC, or most humanities based exams did not know. Tell me, after you finish 10th class, as you joined our Sarachan Rice Academy for Intermediate, at the time, what made you, what forced you to choose humanities? Instead of science or mathematics, what forced you to choose humanities? Sir, uh, to answer this question, uh, I would like to say that uh, from the very beginning, I knew that I wanted to do something uh, something really different. I wanted to get into civil services. And uh, also, after 12th standard, I wanted to crack uh, different examinations. And uh, because uh, this would uh, uh, let me know where I stand among the competition. So before the civils, uh, this is like uh, a test match for me. And uh, Humanities is uh, an interesting subject and uh, it would also help us in uh, clearing uh, civil services examination because they have, uh, they overlap. The subjects in humanities like history, economics and quality and uh, so many uh, things in the syllabus of GS papers, they overlap. So that those are some reasons why uh, we chose humanities uh, to uh, complete our intermediate. So, frankly, I'm not uh, interested in maths or science, so I am left with arts. But it's not like uh, if you're not uh, interested in uh, arts or science, uh, uh, in maths or science, you are, you are left with arts. There is a lot to do in arts. So, when uh, I am left with arts, uh, arts has different subjects. We have political science, economics, we have culture, we have history. So, this is where uh, you can shape, you can... Uh, uh, with this, uh, you can get to know your personality well. I'm really grateful that I've taken arts because that is where I've come to know myself. So uh, that is uh, that is why I've chosen humanities as my subject for uh, intermediate. Uh, and uh, this this has helped me in my uh, CLAT preparation because uh, had I uh, had I taken uh, maths or science, uh, I would have struggled a lot because uh, it's not so easy to manage uh, maths or science with uh, CLAT because CLAT, uh, uh, de CLAT demands entirely a different preparation which is very different from uh, maths or science. So taking uh, humanities and arts uh, art would uh, definitely help you a lot. And it's not only about clearing CLAT. You will have a lot of uh, uh, exams uh, exams to take like a CUET, you can take IIT HSC, you can take IP Math, which are all based on arts. So uh, it is very advantageous uh, to take even arts. So, friends, like how Bhavana and Veda said, exams like CLAT, IPMAT, IHSC, the syllabus in this examination is very similar to the foundation of IAS exam. For civil examination, the syllabus is history, geography, economy, polity, environment, current affairs, arithmetic, reason, English. So, same syllabus at a fundamental level will be there in these exams also. That is the reason why at Sarachan IAS Academy also, in the Interpus IAS Foundation, our idea is not to keep the students here for 5 years. The idea is not to ask students to stay for 5 years for IAS coaching. For first 2 years, they learn the basics of humanities. With that knowledge, they will be able to write these exams like how Veda and how Bhavana cleared CLAT exam, like how Srivanila cleared IAM exam and how Himan Srivanadev cleared IIT HSC exam. Like the students clear CUET exam also. However, some students who want to go into CLAT along with the law, they prefer UPSC. Those who want to go into BA or you know BBA you know, in IAM or DU, they can continue preparation for civil services. So civil services is not something 
which you can pursue only with a single degree in any through any degree you can pursue civil coaching so yes coming back so tell me veda in the preparation for clats mock exams play a very important role so roughly can you tell me how many mock exams you wrote and how these exams helped you sir uh, firstly i would like to uh, tell all the aspirants who are writing clat this year or next year that uh, mocks are a very integral part of the uh, clat preparation and you need to start taking mocks right right from the day you start preparing for clat exam it is not like uh, i will uh, start writing mocks after i complete a, a one percentage of a portion x percentage of a portion it's not like that you you are learning from mocks is different you are learning from classes and concepts is different so they both need to go hand in hand so writing mocks is very important and uh, i have taken personally uh, more than 50 mocks and uh, it helped me a lot mocks help you uh, understand where you are weak in your weak areas your strong areas and how to improve on your uh, areas and uh, where you lack where you uh, gain so they are very important without mocks it is uh, your clat preparation is like incomplete so it is very important that you start writing mocks from the very first day of your uh, clat preparation uh, yes uh, yes sir so uh, the thing about mocks is uh, uh, the more mocks you give uh, the the best advantage the, the great advantage you have in exam so uh, giving more mocks is important but you have to do it in the right way uh, what we have done is as uh, we are approaching the exam like uh, when we are in the last phase of exam say uh, when we are uh, a month ahead what we have done is we have given a mock a day uh, it's like we have given uh, every single day a mock this is uh, really going to be difficult because uh, i would suggest not to do this this is a mistake uh, that we, uh, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't do uh, what you have to do is uh, start preparation for clat as early as possible uh, and in the initial phase give at least one one mock a week and as you're going as you're going deep and as you're approaching your exam you increase the frequency of your mocks make it two a week and make it three a week you do it like this it's not that uh, it, uh, it's not that as uh, giving more mocks is important you have you shouldn't pile it pile it up to the till the end of the day this is not correct because uh, giving mocks is as important as important as analyzing them see when we have done this when we have given a mock a day uh, what we didn't do is we didn't analyze them and this is uh, and this is where, where we have failed so please don't do that uh, schedule your mocks uh, schedule it once a week in the initial phase as you are approaching your exam you increase the frequency and make sure that you analyze it thoroughly uh, make sure that uh, you analyze every section of it every question of it thoroughly uh, this is uh, this is very important because Uh, in the exam you are going to have 150 questions 150 different questions and 150 different questions is you have to be able to answer every single question thoroughly uh, this is where uh, your experience with questions increases uh, this this helps a lot so analyze it perfectly and thoroughly time factor is one thing which plays a very important role in clat examination like there is 120 minutes given 2 hours is given and in that time we need to answer 150 questions so uh, if if we give 3 uh, hours to any person and if we give the clat paper everybody would get all the answers correct but what makes the difference here is the time factor so for that mocks play a very important role we would uh, get ourselves adjusted to answer 150 questions in a limited time so that is why mocks are very important and as bhavna said uh, writing mocks uh, is uh, not enough by itself we need to analyze the mocks thoroughly uh, if we write mocks more mocks and more mocks and uh, leave it leave them without analyzing uh, it's going to be waste so uh, it's better if you uh, connect with a friend or you develop a study circle and then if you analyze your mocks together then you'll get to know what your mistakes are what your strengths and weaknesses are you'll know where you have to improve and you'll know how to uh, overcome your weaknesses and uh, get more uh, strengths in your strength areas so that is how you ne you need to use the mocks okay so 50 mock exams whether it's like a very you know good number so though we conduct some 30 25 exams i encourage all students to take some other mock exams from online also so that they get exposed to different types of mock exams rather than exams only for our institute and coming back to bhavana tell me how you prepared for critical reasoning and analytical reasoning because critical and analytical reasoning is a very important section in the clats so what have done for that 
critical reasoning and analytical reasoning come in come under the part of logical reading read, uh, logical reasoning again uh, i suggest you all to read a lot of content because this is where uh, you get exposure with uh, different kinds of content and clat is nothing but they'll give you a passage uh, they uh, they'll ask you five questions based on the passage so when what uh, what happens is uh, when you read a lot uh, you'll get to know different kinds of content you'll uh, you'll get to experience what are different uh, subjects existing in the world so any passage they give you in the exam uh, you will be able to take it easily you'll be able to take it comfortably so that is where reading plays a lot of role uh, i would highly suggest uh, to start reading from the day one it is as important as you are taking the exam so uh, in critical and uh, in, in logical reasoning we have critical reasoning and analytical reasoning analytical reasoning is uh, nothing but you'll have uh, uh, analytical aptitude concepts like uh, blood relations uh, like coding decoding like number series so i would like to pro i would like you to uh, i would like to suggest that uh, you can prepare uh, for uh, the concepts and uh, practice as much as questions as possible for analytical reasoning uh, coming for critical reasoning uh, you'll have to have a, a great critical sense you'll have to have uh, analysis for every uh, passage you have so that is where reading helps you a lot and uh, go for a lot of books like uh, rd sharma uh, and uh, and much more institute helps you a lot and you can surf through internet you can uh, you can get to know about different types of questions uh, that have a chance uh, of getting asked in exam uh, yes sir so friends in clat examination we have logical reasoning legal aptitude english general knowledge and arithmetic aptitude so we now bhavana told us about the logical reasoning coming to legal aptitude legal reasoning legal aptitude so tell me veda for legal aptitude what should be the approach sir uh, first in legal aptitude uh, i mean a judgment is given like a, a real judgment which was uh, passed in the country by a supreme court or a high court uh, that kind of a thing is given and uh, questions which are based on that principle a uh, set of facts are given and then we need to uh, decide like we need to judge it and uh, out of the four options we need to decide what is the appropriate thing uh, for that actually uh, we can even answer the questions without uh, knowing the concepts before but uh, what is the advantage with uh, knowing the concepts before is the, the, the speed of our reading increases Uh, like we have to uh, definitely first uh, complete all the uh, things in uh, legal reasoning syllabus like uh, law of torts and law of criminal uh, uh, torts and uh, uh, law of constitution and uh, contract law and con uh, have fa uh, family law and we need to cover uh, all of these and then uh, we need to start practicing questions on these things so uh, once we are uh, clear conceptually we'll be able to answer the questions much more easily and uh, the main thing is practice for legal aptitude uh, the many questions we practice the many cases we'll uh, feel familiar with and uh, we'll answer the questions with ease we'll be able to answer the questions with uh, faster speed yes sir so i would like to add something yeah, so this is where mocks play a important role play a, a a very important role i would say so uh, for legal reasoning first uh, all you have to do is uh, be thorough with the concepts uh, because it is different uh, legal uh, legal knowledge and legal language is going to be different for you all uh, it is not going to be the same it's not newspaper language or it's not going to be uh, academic language or it's not the book knowledge so uh, what i uh, what i suggest is uh, be thorough with your concepts uh, if you don't have uh, any coaching or Uh, any kind of material for y'all i would suggest y'all to go with youtube uh, you'll have a lot of classes in youtube for each topic of law so i would suggest y'all to uh, listen to the classes uh, of the youtube and then uh, start giving your uh, legal reasoning test uh, and that is where mocks play a important role you'll uh, you'll get to know a lot of passages you'll get to know a lot of topics through mocks 
uh, that is where you'll get to know what uh, where you are lacking in which uh, uh, topic of law you are lacking so you can get back again to youtube and you can serve the topic again uh, this is how you can improve your uh, legal preparation as we both said uh, first co uh, clearing of concepts is very important along with that uh, practicing of, of questions uh, in the mocks is very important and also we need to update ourselves with the current legal knowledge like what are the legal events and developments that that are taking place in the country what are the important amendments and what are the important bills that are being passed in the parliament this is very important sir and uh, because uh, there's a high chance that uh, in the clat exam uh, they ask us about these questions and uh, they they give us questions based on these principles and these set of facts and they ask us to uh, like uh, answer the questions so current legal knowledge is uh, also plays a very important role in our pre preparation sir so see uh, just like you know legal reasoning as well as logical reasoning and you told about english english how reading habits help in english rather than learning or spending most time on grammar for clats now coming to the next section the next section is current affairs general awareness friends in the clat examination instead of focusing on the last 4 to 6 months of the current affairs like bank exam or rbi exam the questions are from almost last 2 years of current affairs that means those students who along with the intermediate 11th and 12th classes throughout the both the years if they have a habit of reading newspaper that's the only way they can cover all the current affairs if you try to take a list of all the important events in last year to prepare on that you may not be able to answer because most of the questions are not just from the important events but also from the peripheral areas so you should develop a habit of reading newspaper and now here uh, bhavana tell me when you are answering the current affairs section of the clat examination have you faced any kind of difficulty because the questions are from almost one year or and a half year back uh, yes sir uh, i i would say that this is the mistake uh, done by us uh, because uh, we have uh, presumed uh, we have assumed that uh, uh, the current affairs which are going to be asked in exam uh, will be only of last few months that was a mistake that was really a mistake please don't do that uh, please be thorough with all the gk that is being said from at least 2 years i would like to say see gk is uh, definitely going to be vast uh, gk is everything under the sun so i would like to say uh, from the last 2 years go with the obvious topics go with the most important topics that are running uh, and get the link uh, because uh, gk is this uh, without knowing what uh, what ha what has happened in past you get you can't get to the present so read gk with the perspective of history you will get to uh, uh, because uh, the gk that the way gk is asked in in clat is really different it's not about uh, it's not only about static knowledge uh, it's about static with a touch of history it's uh, with a touch of uh, personality like uh, one of the one of the question in uh, 2022 clat exam is what was the profession of uh, president of russia before he was president it was comedian so it was so obvious uh, anyone who's thorough with the news uh, will, uh, will should really know what his previous profession was so it's like that uh, there's no point in freaking out that uh, gk is so vast uh, one thing i would suggest is uh, don't miss the obvious topics uh, serve the net or take uh, serve the net and take the topics which are more obvious of last 2 years and uh, and don't uh, don't lose touch with newspaper newspaper updates you every single day uh, so don't lose that Uh, as we already uh, mentioned many times here again newspaper plays a very important role not only helping us with our english and vocab but it also helps us uh, stay updated with the current events which are going on and uh, one thing uh, we need to keep a limited uh, set of resources uh, for our current affairs like uh, it's not like uh, we need to cover all the magazines of all coaching institutes we need to keep our uh, we need to stick to a limited uh, number of resources and we need to revise revising is very important in gk and also uh, it is not like uh, you read everything in a bookish manner you take an event and uh, you see its history like uh, you read it in an interesting manner and to keep this uh, uh, interesting and not like uh, boring you can uh, join with a friend like uh, personally uh, me and bhavna have uh, prepared together for clat and uh, we used to uh, do current affairs together like we used to see what the events are happening around the world and uh, we need to uh, we used to like uh, as 
associate it with history and what is the history of that uh, event and we used to prepare it like that and uh, it used to be very interesting also so you can find a good friend to prepare uh, for the current affairs section of CLAT it would be very helpful I would say Friends, actually I am happy that students of this age though they are intermediate students the way they reduce paper the way they understand is almost similar to the candidates who are appearing for UPSC because even the candidates who finish their graduation and appearing for UPSC also prepare current affairs in the same way, read newspaper, discuss with the friends, the same thing. Now coming back to the sections, coming to English section, so Veda and Bhavana, I think both of you have done well with the word power made easy. You have really focused on that, the help vocabulary, right? Yes, yes sir. So tell me what is the best way to finish the book quickly, word power made easy. So, Word Power Made Easy is a book which helps us really well with our vocabulary. Uh, the book is not a reading book or a novel uh, uh, or something like that. Uh, we need to work along with that book. The book has many sessions, like uh, it has close to 50 sessions and uh, if we keep ourselves consistent with that book and if we try to complete uh, one session each day, it would be very helpful. Uh, it takes around like two months to complete that book and uh, at the end of our completion of that book, uh, we would be uh, very equipped with all the root words and uh, uh, root words because uh, it, the book helps us uh, really well. So uh, after root words, uh, it not only helps us uh, with the vocabulary, uh, but uh, after completing that book, not only the words in that particular book, but the root words which we learn in that book helps us in identifying the meanings of other words associated with that root in, in the newspaper or uh, wherever. Uh, so in the CLAT exam, there are so many passages and you come across so many different words that uh, it's not possible to like know uh, the meaning of every word. But if you read this book, it, there's a better chance that you know uh, that you know the meaning of the word. So you understand the passage better. When you understand the passage better, you will be able to answer the questions in a much better way. So I would like to recommend all the CLAT aspirants to read this book, Word Palm Made Easy. Uh, it would help you a lot in your preparation. Okay. Finally, coming to the arithmetic. Friends, for arithmetic, the only thing you have to do is just practice more problems. That's all. Arithmetic, the number of questions are around 15 questions and in the last few years, the pattern is changing. So, just practice more questions. Actually, Bhavana and Veda both have taken HEC, History, Economic, Civics in our junior college. So, from the arts background, so people like this who have taken HEC have to work a little more in the mathematics. Whereas students who have chosen MEC, Maths, Economics and uh, Commerce, they can spend lesser time because they already will be a little strong in mathematics. So, that's how you have to prepare for the CLAT examination and whether though you got an NLU Isaac as you are aiming to get into DU to do BA and DU uh, all the best with your CU CET examination. So congrats once again to both of you. Thank you, Thank you sir. sir.